Pay loot boxes are out for Overwatch and Heroes of the Storm in Belgium, where they've recently been considered gambling, which they are. A Blizzard community manager made the announcement, saying, In April 2018, the Belgian Gaming Commission published a report that was endorsed by the Belgian Ministry of Justice, in which they concluded that pay loot boxes in Overwatch are considered gambling under local law. While we at Blizzard were surprised by this conclusion and do not share the same opinion, we have decided to comply with their interpretation of Belgian law. It's a little bit fucking passive-aggressive, isn't it? As a result, we have no choice but to implement measures that will prevent Overwatch and Heroes of the Storm players located in Belgium from purchasing in-game loot boxes and loot chests with real money and gems. No matter what, we want to make sure that our players around the world have the best entertainment experience possible. While players in Belgium will no longer be able to purchase paid loot boxes and Overwatch and loot chests in Heroes of the Storm, they will still be able to earn them by playing the games and they'll still have access to all in-game content. These measures will be implemented shortly. We also remain open to further discussions with the Belgian Gaming Commission and Ministry of Justice on this topic. Activision Blizzard's reaction to this is quite similar to the reactions of companies that were faced with similar issues when the Netherlands declared that certain loot boxes were gambling. Basically, they sat on their asses until the very last minute, thought of absolutely no other way around this, didn't think of, didn't even consider actually rebalancing the game or, or trying to think of some compromise. And then at zero hour, when there was nowhere else to wriggle to, they just disabled the whole thing and thought, fuck it. The tone of the statement seems designed to make them look a little bit like the victim here. They're not wearing it on their sleeve, they're just acting a little bit put out. After all, it's not the law they've brushed up against, it's the interpretation of the law. And because getting those loot boxes without paying for them in Overwatch is a complete fucking grind, I've got little doubt they hope people will be pissed off at how hard it is to get stuff now, but won't blame Blizzard, they'll blame the law. Totally forgetting, of course, that games are designed to make obtaining loot boxes without paying for them as sluggish as possible. We saw this with Shadow of War, once they took the marketplace out, they had to redesign the whole fucking game balance. The trajectory of AAA loot boxes has gone pretty much how I suggested they would. I did a video near the beginning of this year asking if AAA loot boxes were done. And quite a few people said that I was wrong there, I was jumping the gun, being a bit early to uh, to talk about that. But a lot of AAA publishers abandoned them. They seem a bit more intent on pushing this live service thing, which they can monetize in perpetuity without the need for gambling. And they're working a little bit harder, it feels, on season passes. I have a feeling that this whole season 1 pass, season 2 pass, season 3 pass thing is going to get a lot more popular. Between having multiple special editions per game and uh, now it seems multiple season passes per game, AAA publishers have a more palatable, more established way to make more money off the same content. Loot boxes for most of these companies just aren't worth it. It's not worth the bad PR, it's not worth brushing up against politicians. Unless, of course, you're acting. Activision Blizzard, the most arrogant of the third-party publishers, not named Konami of course, who've managed to establish these practices in their super popular games, so they see no real need to change, certainly as we've seen with this situation with Belgium. Activision is of course the company, and I mention this all the time because it's always worth remembering, but Activision is the company that put loot boxes into a Call of Duty remaster, along with Microsoft transactions in general, and of course they sold Modern Warfare Remastered without the DLC that they then sold back at a higher price. Activision is the ultimate corporate entity, the kind that will not stop unless it's made to stop externally, because it doesn't feel the need to. Which again is on track with what I suggested would happen. It seems that FIFA and Activision Blizzard are going to be the last holdouts of AAA loot boxes. Not that other companies aren't waiting for the day where they could get away with doing them again, but they're going to have to wait for another Overwatch to come along to repopularize the idea. And I'm sure Activision Blizzard is more than happy to provide that service. I do sympathize with Activision Blizzard's surprise though. It must be weird for them encountering a law that's actually designed to protect people from them. Most gigantic companies are used to laws like many in this country that are designed to protect them and their money, and the politicians that benefit from them and their money. Anyway, in conclusion, loot boxes are gambling, like I've always said they are. And fuck any game company that vandalises their games with them. <laughs> They're filth!